I'm the Wacky Musician, and welcome to another Make and Play Paper Instrument series. Today with Make and Play Paper Maracas. Got you right here. Now before we start on that, a couple housekeeping things, a little business stuff here, real quick. Uh, one thing is that I've started a GoFundMe page for a movie I'm working on. It's a Lego brick movie called A Dog Named Time. And I brought here this thing here. It's nothing to do with making our paper uh, instrument. This is a ship from the movie. It's half Lego and half uh, old building toy called Constructs. Just to show you. And there'll be a little card here somewhere, probably here, for you if you want to check that out. Okay, that's all on that. Moving on. So the other item of business does have to do with making play paper instruments. I've had several videos up now, and, and some that have had substantial amounts of views. So there must be people out there who have been making these instruments. I'd like to see and hear your instruments that you've made. So this is your challenge now, is to make your own video playing the paper instrument or instruments with, uh, by yourself or with a group. You can make several and play a group. And make a video of that and put a link to it in my comments section. And uh, I don't know what yet, but maybe we'll have some prize for the best one. We'll see. I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh well. <laughs> now, back to our regularly scheduled program. So, make and play paper maracas. In order to make these maracas, which end up looking something like this, you're going to need paper, a couple sheets of paper, lots of paper. This is scrap paper. It has stuff on the other side. Most of it's music, some of it's not. You're going to need a ruler. Not a king or something, but just a ruler that measures. Or actually, any straight line, but you, you will want to be able to measure out a specific distance. Something to write with, a pen or pencil. Tape, a scotch tape is good. Other types of tape can work. Scissors, say hello. Hello. Right. Remote control, no, you don't need that. That's fine. That controls the camera. <laughs> All right, oh, one more thing. This is optional, but you will get a better sound with it. Aluminum foil. You can make it without, but you'll get more sound if you make it with. Let's get started. So, take some paper, you right now just one sheet of paper. I've got a pile, it'll just, you can do it on a pile. Take your ruler, not your king or queen, but just something as a straight edge that can also measure. Um, I'm using uh, one and a half inches. Yeah, I'm American, I, I, I use the English system. You can type that into Google and convert it to centimeters really easy that way if you want. Um, but I'm using one and a half inches and I'm gonna move the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. You really don't need to look at me, I'm not that pretty. Now you're looking at my paper, and so you want to take your ruler. I'm going to start slightly off the edge of the paper just to help get a more accurate reading here. I think reading is the right word, but I'm going to start at one inch and put a line there. That's actually my starting point, and just because of the way the edge of the ruler is. You get more accurate, I'm going to do from one to two and a half. So two and a half, make another mark. I notice I'm going across the long way of the paper right now, sort of close to the center. I'm pushing a little farther right from the center. I think that's a good idea. Maybe okay if you do it right in the center. Now I'm going to go another inch and a half, which will put me at four, put a mark there. So I have three marks, no Matthew marks, well we do have marks, no Matthew, Luke's, or John's, but three marks. And then I need one more mark at five and a half. And even though I said one more, I need one more, say one more twice. Uh, musicians tend to do that, especially music teachers a lot, one more time, one more time. And so I'm going to go up to seven here. So I have marked out four segments between the lines. There's one, two, three, four. It's going to make four separations there. Now I'm going to take my ruler, going to go sideways, move the scissors out of the way. And the way I've made these marks, it's hard to tell where it starts, but we'll say it starts here. And I'm going to go an inch and a half across to here. Make a mark there. Then come up to the next mark. Do the same thing, inch and a half across. Next mark, inch and a half across. It'll still work out if they're not perfect. But the better you get them, the easier it'll be. Inch and a half. And the last mark, an inch and a half. So, just so you can get a good look, this is what we currently have. Now I'm going to connect down the long ways those two sets of dots and lines. Connect the line straight down, donk. And on the other side, straight down, donk. So now I have four squares. Four square and seven, no wait, that doesn't make sense. All right, that's four score, not four square. All right, if you even know what I'm talking about. It's an American thing. Okay, now I'm going to start at the second box right here and here. And I'm going to go out to the right another inch and a half. I'm going to start at three and go to two and a half, one and a half technically, I'm going backwards. Up to there. And the same thing up the other side of that box. Alright. Now I'm going to close that box in. And go to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. On the other side, inch and a half. 
and draw a line and connect it in. Now what we have looks like a cross, but don't get all religious on us. This isn't a religious project, is it? It's not going to be a cross, and we've got to add one more box to it. I think I just turned that upside down. My view screen is upside down the way I'm looking at it. So on this box on my left, I'm going to add another inch and a half. Puts me pretty close to the edge, but there's enough room. Some of you who have done this kind of thing before might recognize this kind of box. That measurement doesn't look right. My ruler must have slid. Yeah, I didn't go to the half mark. Fix that. Okay. Close the line in. As I said, some of you may recognize this kind of pattern. It's what you would use to make a paper cube. And that's actually the first step. We're going to make a paper cube to contain our shaker stuff. And that's something I forgot to mention in the materials. I won't mention it now. You also need rice. This is Aladdin's rice. It's jasmine. But any rice will do. The harder the rice, the better sound it will make. Or small beans will work as well. Small beads will work. Rice is one of the most common things to use for stuff like maracas. The next step, then, is to take your scissors and cut around the whole outside of the pattern. Don't separate any of the boxes from each other. Just cut the outside of the pattern. Here we go. Chop, chop, chop. We can fast forward this for fun. All right, so now we've got something that looks like this. And let me say right now, I apologize for any weird noises that come out, particularly as I peel the tape. This camera is getting a bit old, and it does some weird things. And one thing it particularly does not like is the sound when I pull the tape, and it tends to cause some weird noises to happen. So forgive those. Someday i got to get a new movie camera. All right, the next step involves the aluminum foil. So if you're not using aluminum foil, you can skip ahead. Yeah, I, I did this on the back of Scrap Music, so you see it's all musical on the back. <laughs> all right, on the back, which, as I said, mine's all musical, we're going to take our aluminum foil. Aluminum foil makes its own little sound. So yeah. And take this, place it on Mr. Aluminum Foil, or Miss Aluminum Foil, we don't know. It's a boy or girl, do we? I guess it's not either, right? It could be gender confused, I don't know. But the fact that it's not alive means, okay, enough of that. Trace right along your paper across the aluminum foil. Not necessarily as easy to do as it is on regular paper, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's okay if your pen or pencil cuts through the aluminum a little bit, because that's exactly what we're going to do, is cut it out. That you have to be very careful with because aluminum foil tears easy, especially this aluminum foil, which is really cheap. It's dollar store aluminum foil. <laughs> it's definitely not heavy duty. I can see where it broke right through, and that's okay. It's really, what we want to do is separate this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't really want it to be too much bigger, but it's okay if it's smaller by a little. Well, we can keep that in place. Lock it there. Right. There we go. All right. I don't know why. All right, so now I have an outline, if you can even see it in all the reflections there. I have an outline of my thing there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. Hopefully you can. I take Mr. Scissors, say hello. Oops. Hello. And we're going to cut this out. Trying to be very careful so it doesn't tear, but also trying to keep it maybe just a little smaller. So I'm actually cutting slightly inside the line I made. Slightly inside the line. It sounds like a show. I don't know what the noise of the aluminum foil is going to do to the camera, right? I'm going to be quiet now so we can fast forward while I do this. of the excess. All right, so now we have a piece of aluminum foil that's pretty much just like our paper. On whatever side is going to be the inside, I'm going to put the music inside for this. It really doesn't matter. I'm now going to tape the aluminum foil on. Now, you, of course, you could glue this too if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to use tape. Actually, tape is probably better, or maybe a combination of both here. We go with the weird noises, possibly. Maybe if I pull it slowly, it won't do that. <laughs> what you want to do is tape the seams all the way. You don't want there to be any holes in the seams. So this will take some time. So you want to put tape across every seam with there being no gap. Try to line it up perfectly. And then say it was easy to do. <laughs> so then I say this will take a little time. Now make sure there's no spot that's not covered with there's you want to make sure there's no seam that's not covered with tape. Because the little rice we use to make our shaker will get in to places you don't want it if it's not tape sealed. Do you so? No, I don't know why I said that. Okay. So now you should have no spot here where there's a hole. The tape covers all the spots where the aluminum meets the paper. So the next thing to do, 
and I should have pointed this out already, um, should be doing this on the side opposite you drew your line. So hopefully you did that. If not, you may have to redo it or try to fake it. Um, you may be able to guess, or you could redraw the lines with the ruler. Um, I should have said that earlier. That's my fault. Bad me. Okay. Because the lines are going to show us where to fold. Everywhere there's a line, we want to fold right on that line. So we're going to fold on that line. You can unfold it after you fold it. Fold on that line. There's a line here, so we fold. Sounds like we're playing cards. We keep folding. And there's a line here, so we fold. Not very good at cards, I guess, if you're always folding. Uh, folding again. And our last fold here. So everywhere there's a line, we folded the panel. So everything has a bend in it. Now it's time to assemble. It's, it's like a little uh, solar collector. <laughs> it kind of looks like a little solar dish or something. Hey. Um, or a satellite. Anyways, getting off track. <laughs> okay. Now a symbol. We're going to tape together the walls so that we have a cube, but the top remains open. So these two panels that are on the top will remain open. Don't tape those closed. We need an opening at the top to put our rice in. And again, you want to make sure they're fully sealed. I would start with one piece of tape at the top to get it connected. That'll be easier. And then take more tape and fill in the seam. Like so. A little excess there at the bottom. You may have seen me doing this when I was taping the other stuff. You cut down the middle, then you can fold down one side, fold down the other, nice and neatly. So that side's ready. So you're going to do the same for this one, this one, and this one, but not the top. Make it so. Alright, so now we have a cube with an open top. Actually, it's two, two flaps up here. And now it's time to put something in our little box here. And that's going to be our rice, or if you're using little beans or seeds, something small that can rattle around. So yeah, I'm going to take some jasmine rice. Not too much. I'm going to show you maybe a palm full like that. You, you don't want to do anything close to filling the box. It needs room to bounce around. So I'm going to throw that in there. It should just about cover the bottom, like that does. Um, let me see. Well, I tilted to the camera, it's going to slide. But when it's not tilted to the camera, it covers the bottom. So put that in. Let me close my bag so I don't spill it. All right, now that the rice is in there, and point out again, there's not that much rice in there. Enough to fill the bottom, so you it covers the bottom, but not much more than that. So it, it's compared to the size of the cube, it's a tiny amount. If you put too much in, then it, it won't work so great. All right, close one of the flaps it really at the top. It really doesn't matter which one. And tape around the seams. All right, so uh, I didn't worry about this part. That won't be an issue, but the seams on the outside are all taped. Then we're going to take the leftover flap, pull it down, and that's not going to be down too well. There we go. And we're going to tape the seams around that. All right, so now you have a cube that's a shaker. Shaker cube. If really all you want is a shaker, you're done. <laughs> this could actually be a project in itself. Make a little cube shaker. But we're making maracas, and some things that makes maracas maracas is the fact that they have handles. So we now need to build the handle portion of our maraca. So take two sheets of paper. I'm looking for paper with music on it. I want paper with music on it. Except I don't seem to have any more. Oh well. I don't more. Oh, this one does. Okay. Take two sheets of paper. This one says Alexander's Ragtime Band. <laughs> Scrap paper. All right, I'm going to put the music on the outside. So you're going to roll these two sheets of paper together, but you want to roll them from the corner. And you want to make one side small and one side big. So you're going to make like a cone, like an ice cream cone, but without the ice cream, sadly. Ice cream's good. All right. <laughs> Used to work at Baskin Robbins. All right. So roll it in a cone shape. This is Maraca's going to have musical notes on it. So it's big on one end, small on the other end. Like that. Make sure the big end is big enough that your cube will fit inside. Like that. We're not going to do that yet, but you want to make sure there's enough room. So make sure it's big enough. You can always adjust it by pushing it a little that way. And then tape the seam. My seam's right here. Tape the seam closed. doesn't have to be sealed perfectly like on the cube. just needs to be enough that it won't come undone. I'm going to put that there and just one extra piece of tape to make sure it's secure. All right, so we have our little cone, but no ice cream to go with it. Next thing is take your cube. Say, hello, cube. Hello. And set your cube inside. Now, be nice if that was done, but if you start shaking it, it's going to fly out. So that's not good. So take this part. See how this part's big and high? Bend it over. Oh, this looks like a mouth. Oh, no. I ate a cube. And tape that over like that. Again, it doesn't have to be sealed completely. Just enough for it to stay. Grab some tape. Bend it over so the paper just ate our cube. It was hungry. All right, and that's it. Now you have a maraca. I have a musical maraca because it has music notes all over it. 
Now, of course, maracas are usually paid, paid. No, they're not paid. Maracas are usually played in pairs. So you'll want, probably want to make two of these. So just start over and do the same thing again. I got another one here. It's not as pretty. It doesn't have the musical note. And you can color the outside. Um, to make it easiest, you may want to color the outside before you roll it. Or you could use something that already has a pattern on it. Like I use this scrap piece of music of Alexander's Ragtime Band. And then it looks all musical notey, so it's cool. This one's just blank. And then you have your two maracas, and you can have a maraca dance. Whatever that is. So that's all. Um, I apologize if you have any trouble understanding my videos, particularly if English isn't your first language. It is true, I do speed them up. Uh, I do like the faster pace. Um, I have in later videos tried not to speed them as much as I did it on the original Make and Play a Paper Flute. And uh, if you've watched that one and had trouble, hopefully you saw the link. There is a Make and Play a Paper Flute, the boring version we call it. It is not sped up at all. It's not necessarily boring, but compared to the other one, it's not nearly as exciting. Anyhow, um, also speaking of the paper flute, it, it, I just have to say I'm amazed. I'm even shocked how passionate people are about whether it's a flute or a recorder. Technically, technically, it is a recorder in the make and play paper flute, but a recorder is also a type of flute. Flutes are a family of instruments. The one we know as a flute is a modern flute or transverse flute is its actual full name. Uh, the recorder is the flute dolce or sweet flute. And so there are other five-star flutes, penny whistles are flutes, there's a whole variety of different types of flutes. So you can continue to argue it. You probably won't listen to a word I have to say on that anyways. Go ahead, argue it. Puts lots of uh, comments in my video and I think that helps get it attention. But I do have a degree in music and I do know what I'm talking about, but you can, whatever. <laughs> anyways, I'm rambling. I'm gonna try and get some more make and play, make and play, what's a make and play? I'm gonna try and get some more make and play paper instrument videos going. As I've done more and more, it's becoming harder to come up with workable ideas. Somebody said in a comment that I should do an organ. Uh, not really sure how that would work, but that would be cool if I could make a paper organ. But I don't know if that's uh, probable. All things are possible. Just some things are very improbable. <laughs> Anyways, again, I'm rambling. It's time to close. So take care. This is The Wacky Musician, and I'm out.